The pressure of a gas can be described using a variety of different units. The units chosen typically depend on the device that's used to measure the pressure and the magnitude of the pressure. The SI, or System International Unit uh, for Pressure, is the Pascal. And the Pascal is defined with the System International Base Units as one Pascal equals one kilogram per meter per second squared. This kilogram per meter per second squared might seem like a strange unit, but if you think of the definition of pressure, which is that pressure equals force divided by area and express uh, the force in the units uh, or force the concept of force is mass times acceleration divided by area and if we think about um, pressure in those terms then we can express mass in terms of kilograms acceleration in terms of meters per second squared, and area in terms of meter squared, these are all the base SI units. The um, meter unit here cancels, and one of them cancels here, and that leaves you with the units kilogram per meter per second squared. That's where we come up with those base units. But Pressure can also be expressed uh, using different uh, units. For example, um, the Pascal, uh, since it's a relatively small uh, pressure unit compared to atmospheric pressure, a lot of times um, 100 kilopascals or 10 to the fifth pascals is just referred to as one bar. And in many standard measurements um, that are done for thermodynamic uh, functions, the uh, bar unit is used. Uh, a common unit that you've probably heard of before is one atmosphere. Uh, one atmosphere is defined as the pressure, uh, the uh, gas pressure or atmospheric pressure at sea level, and that's equal to 1.01325 times in the fifth pascal. So an atmosphere is very close to a bar. And one atmosphere is also the same as 760 torr, which is the same as 760 millimeters of mercury. And another common pressure unit that you may have heard of before is a pound per square inch, which is a force, a pound is a force unit, and an inch squared is an area unit. And um, that's a common English unit of measure for pressure. It's also referred to as PSI, pounds per square inch, um, and that is equal to an, uh, one atmosphere. Okay, so we have um, a lot of different ways to express pressure, uh, but you should ultimately be familiar with the fact that pressure is force divided by area and understand where these uh, kilogram per meter per second square units come from. So you need to be able to um, convert pressure units from whatever they were measured in to whatever um, is desired. Um, you may be trying to compare data that is expressed pressure in one unit, but it was measured in another. So you just have to do, be able to do simple unit conversions um, for pressure. So here's an example. The pressure needed to make synthetic diamonds from graphite is 8 times 10 to the fourth atmospheres. Express this pressure in pascals. So to do this, all you need to do is look for a conversion factor between atmospheres and Pascal, and we have one right here. One atmosphere equals 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. So using that um, equality, we can turn it into a per expression and do a simple di dimensional analysis problem. What's given? Eight times 10 to the fourth atmospheres times the per expression one atmosphere is equal to 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. The atmosphere unit, of course, cancels. You do the little arithmetic, do the simple uh, arithmetic, and you end up with 8.106 times 10 to the ninth atmosphere, excuse me, Pascals. So you can see that this Pascal unit is actually a very small unit of measure for pressure. And the atmosphere is a convenient unit of measure to use when we're referring to um, gases that are around, you know, normal atmospheric pressure. Express this uh, pressure in tor. So starting with 8 times 10 to the fourth atmosphere, express that unit in tor. So we know from the previous table that one atmosphere is equal to 760 tor. 
and a tor is the same as a millimeter of mercury. And if you do the math there, you get 6.08 times 10 to the seventh. You get 6.08 times 10 to the seventh tor when you make that conversion. So you should practice and be sure that you are always very mindful of how the units of pressure are given and what units of pressure are wanted and know that it's very simple to look up on a conversion table the conversion factors for these types of pressure units.